Hello and welcome to how to overclock your GPU. Just going to be a quick video, otherwise this could run very long. So first of all, what you're going to need is an overclocking tool of some kind. I've got a few examples here. You can have MSI Afterburner. This is a quite popular one. We have got EVGA. So I'll shut that. We've got EVGA Precision X. This is also another popular one. We've got Thundermaster from Palette. I, I doubt many people would have seen that before. I've certainly never used it before, but it does the job, I think. Uh, we've got Expert Tool. For, this is Gain Woods. Again, another one I doubt many people have seen. Uh, we'll just shut that. We've got Overclock Genie from Gigabyte. I don't know if anyone has used that. I've not used this one either, along with lots of these I haven't used. And we have GPU Tweak from ASUS. But anyway, we're actually not going to be using any of those this time. Or I personally am going to use Zotac Firestorm because it's the one I'm most familiar with. You could, of course, use any of the other ones that I previously mentioned. They're all pretty much the same. Okay, so quickly to go through this. On the I tab here, you've of course got the card you've got. I've got a GTX 770. 2 gigabytes of GDDR5, 256-bit bus, etc, etc, etc. These are the clocks. Here you go, settings. We want to be able, if you're going to do proper, like hard, not hardcore overclocking, but you know, proper overclocking, then you want to enable the voltage control. It'll bring up a warning there. Uh, here we've got monitoring. This is showing us what the core clock's at. Memory clock temperature, fan speed, etc, etc, all, everything you'd expect, they're all there. The fan controls here, you could make a, f you could fix it at whatever you like, or you can make a custom one, which I did and I can't have gone well. Okay, but we're going to leave it on automatic. And finally, this is the, the clocks, the clocks, yes, that displays the stuff that we're interested in. So here we've got the GPU clock, the base clock. 1058 and we've got the memory clock which is 7010 at the moment the maximum voltage this can move up and down it's at the bottom at the moment the board power limit which I don't think should be a problem with that for us at the moment I'll search for that the temperature target these GPUs are made to run they can run up at 95 degrees but really we want to be keeping it at about 80 so we'll start here okay so I'll just take you through what it is to overclock oh actually one more thing you need a uh, some kind of benchmark tool I am using Unish in heaven this is to test it once you once you've done an overclock to test to see if it's stable so I'm using Unish in heaven you can use anything that's going to stress your GPU for a good amount of time to make sure it's stable it's not going to crash etc etc you see settings probably not too long like as long as it stresses your GPU then that's what matters so to overclock what we do is we increase right I know the boost clock on this is one 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 so I know for a fact that it can go up to that at least so we're gonna start from that from there and you want to go up in small increments I mean it's very tempting like with all this room here to just go oh ooh, ooh, that's move up here but I almost guarantee you if you do that this will not handle an overclock at 1.4 I mean you're likely to be seeing an overclock around this type of mark if you're lucky I mean my R9 280X I reviewed before that could go all the way that was at 1200 which is pretty good but I would start from your boost clock like this and then you'll want to put it on maybe about 20-25 at a time uh, from 11 that's awkward so I'm gonna go up to a 1140 the memory clocks okay that's really high already but I don't think you're gonna get much more out of the memory clock I'm more interested in the GPU clock you then apply that and then what you do is you come to here or whatever you've chosen click run and then it will run through the whole benchmark and if it runs smoothly then you come back to the overclocking software again and you click it up by another 20 odd megahertz or something like that you click apply and then you try running it again when it gets to a point where you run the benchmark and it crashes or it freezes 
what you would, can then do is add a couple of couple of millivolts of voltage onto your card, click apply, and then try it again. And once it's back stable again, you can start doing the GPU clock again. Go up again by another 20 or so. I mean, you can go up in 25s, anything that's kind of reasonably a small amount. Don't go up in like 50s or 100s because you're bound to overstep the mark there. Once you get to a point where increasing the voltage does nothing, you then does nothing for your overclock, it just crashes out. You might end up restarting quite a few times if you're going to be trying for the best you can get. You'll then want to drop it back down to the last one that was safe, apply that, save the profile, save it here, and that will be your highest overclock. Okay, that, that and that is pretty much all there is to it, not without really kind of whacking at the voltage, and I certainly don't want to be recommending people do that. If you want to do an extreme overclock, uh, try a different video. <laughs> I I tend to keep them quite quite safe within the 80 degrees. I mean, you can go over 80 degrees, like I say, but if you whack this right up to maximum and whack your board power up to maximum and the voltage really high, then you're going to be you are going to be reducing the lifespan of your card. Okay, so I hope that's given you an idea how to start overclocking your GPU. Uh, leave me any comments if you have any suggestions, questions, anything like that. I'll try and get back to you. Uh, and I will talk to you guys next time.